Hello and welcome back. You're tuned into Revision Hub of Weird Jazz with Jane. As you guys might have noted on my YouTube channel name, before I named it Jazzy J dash Revision Hub. Now I've changed that and I've totally just made it Revision Hub with Jazzy J. This was done because sometimes people just search for revision as opposed to Jazzy J. So this allowed me to get my channel into a new area or new phase which will allow my channel perhaps to develop much more. Today I'll be continuing to look at beliefs in society, again an AQA sociology topic. If you guys are all ready to go, press the thumbs up button right now. So if you guys have done that and are all ready to go, let's do a quick recap on what we learned in my previous video. So, last video we simply looked at what science is, the advantages, the disadvantages, there was a little bit of a debate going on within that section, also we looked at why is science an open belief system, so it was an open belief system since it cannot be scrutinised, criticised, tested and because science is not sacred, we looked at this as well as we looked at Popper and Merton when Merton looks at the kudos norms, so you guys must be remembering most of the things I'm just going through quickly. So in order to make sure that you've actually remembered it on paper or whatever material you have next to you, get a pen and just write down what you remember from all my previous videos. I keep on going on about this. I cannot go on about it more because this mantra is the truth to success. So please, 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 guys, all of you do this before you continue on within the video. If it will be very, very beneficial if you guys do it, not only for this video, but all all the videos and all the content that you've learned so far because remember you're not just getting tested on one section but also you're getting tested on education family as well as all the other topics so please do that okay let's whiz on science is a closed belief system last time we looked at popper and popper argues that science is an open belief system an open belief system which can be scrutinized criticized as well as tested however there is a huge criticism that science is a closed belief system the closed belief system Hurton is a sociologist and he argues that science is not an open belief system this is because science cannot be scrutinized criticized as well as tested so this is Horton's finding so can you think of examples where science is a closed belief system and cannot be scrutinized criticized and tested pause and have a go okay if you guys have actually gone off and had a go well done I would like you on the comment section to write down an example of how you can see that science is a closed belief system obviously I will have a look at them and also in my few other slides I'm going to be looking at maybe you'll be getting able to sorry to get more clues on what the answer will be for this so I just want to do this just so there's more engagement between us two okay so obviously science cannot be scrutinized criticized size and tested because Hurton believes that science is sacred whereas this obviously can be criticized by Popper who argues that no 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 science is a closed belief, open belief system sorry because it can be scrutinized criticized tested and science is not sacred here we can see two sides of the table one who says that science is an open belief system whilst here we can see that science is a closed belief system hopefully this is clear Alright, so Dr. Velonovsky, has anyone heard of Dr. Velonovsky? Okay, so Dr. Velonovsky is a sociologist and obviously a doctor. So he wrote a book and his book was written about a very, very different concept and his view was quite different from the view of the Big Bang. If you guys are interested to read this book, it will be very beneficial for you just to read it to increase your cultural capital. It will be a good thing. For you to stretch up so if you want to read it please go feel free but i don't think you need to read it but i'll just tell you what this book was about this book was simply about a different view about the big bang and as a result of dr Velonovsky having this different views from normal science the book was not scrutinized not it was well it was scrutinized and it was criticized but the main thing was that this book was boycotted this book was boycotted without following those kudos norms do you remember those kudos norms merton argues that they are kudos norms these are like the rule book rule book of science so c u d o s in this case as 
Merson says that whenever we write a scientific thing or article, all these three things have to, five things, sorry, have to be followed. Four things, five things, anyway, they have to be followed. So these kudos norms have to be followed. If you write all the kudos norms and you see that this theory was science, but it shows that science is a closed belief system because it did not follow Merton's C-U-D-O-S, sorry, it is five norms so it did not follow it as a result this showed that this theory was a proof that science is a closed belief system because of what happened when we looked at dr velanovsky very beneficial for you to mention dr velanovsky write a bit what that book was about and how it wasn't a open belief system but rather a closed belief system example good to use example gets you extra ao marks there. so we've looked at how science is a closed belief system now we'll be looking at how religion is a closed belief system. So it's totally different, we're not looking at science, but we're looking at religion now. So, Evelyn Spichonard. Evelyn Spichonard is an anthropologist as well as a sociologist. And Evelyn Spichonard looked at something known as the Zandes. It was a tribe and he looked at witchcraft in particular. So, this is a complex thing, so please listen okay so a bang is a potion so write that down a bang is a potion so this potion was given to a chicken and in the chicken's ear we give an example for example i want to find out if bob is doing witchcraft against me so i give this potion to the chicken and in the chicken's ear i go and say oh is bob doing witchcraft against me if the chicken dies that means that Bob is doing witchcraft against me. If the chicken does not die, then it shows that, okay, Bob is not doing witchcraft against me. Say, if Bob is doing witchcraft against me, the chicken would die. So I would go out in the local communal area and shout, Bob, you are doing witchcraft against me. And that Bob would be coming out, apologising to me. In that way, he would feel embarrassed. His children's reputation would be damaged. So this was a belief that was held and was looked at by Abnon's Bitchnot. Okay, and this shows that science is a closed belief system. Why do you think science is a closed belief system in this example? Pause, have a think, have a discussion with someone next to you. Okay, this shows that science is a closed belief system because A, it could not be proved wrong in the eyes of the believers, as we say. So no one could challenge it. So as a result, it was followed, it wasn't scrutinised, it wasn't criticised and wasn't tested. Here you can further support this view by Hurton and how Hurton thinks it's a closed belief system as a whole. So please try to use this example when we're specifically looking at religion and how religion is a closed belief system. So Kuhn again is a scientist and sociologist and Kuhn argues that science is a closed belief system so it cannot be scrutinised, criticised and tested. As we all know there are three types of sciences. What are the three types of scientists? Pause, have a think. You do this in school, triple science for example. So have a think. You must be thinking right that there are three types of sciences biology chemistry and physics okay and all these science, three sciences are based on something known as a paradigm a paradigm is a set of assumptions so write that in so this paradigm is like a rule book a rule book which tells scientific people who follow the scientific profession that you know what these are rules that we have they're based on assumptions and these are the rules which biology chemistry and physics have to follow and suppose if someone breaks this paradigm this rule book you can think of it as then it will be scrutinized criticized and that individual will be disowned from the scientific society so Kuhn is a very simple example and clearly shows how science is a closed belief system so we can have a look at this and can compare this again to how it does not follow functionist kudos norms if you don't remember them go back to my previous video made playlist so this process is made much easier okay so i hope this is clear Interpreters are again sociologists they believe that science is made up by society what is the key term for this do you remember hopefully you do Socially constructed is simply something that is made up by society. Certainly, I said that in a lab environment, everything is socially constructed. There's no realism. It's full of artificiality. For example, if we have a look at water, 
that we find in our tap it's not purified it has ions whilst the water that we find in a laboratory is purified without ions and it's known as distilled water as a result whatever we do or practice within a lab environment is socially constructed made up by society no realism and it's full of artificiality as i just said so the rule book of paradigm tells scientists what they should and should not do what apparatus they should and should not do so you can link this in really well with kuhn so if you guys are finding this a bit confusing which it is pause slow down do it slide by slide learn the slide go on because if you don't understand the previous slide on kuhn it'll be very very difficult for you to go on and build this knowledge about the interpretists Let's look at the LGM, stands for Little Green Man. Walker is a sociologist and he argues that the only way for the history to make sense is to persuade other people of the scientific community to believe the interpretation. So I've got a theory, the only way I can make the whole world or the whole scientific community believe in it is by me persuading other people, you know what, my theory is about X, my theory is about Y and you should believe in it because of X, Y and Z. Okay, for example, the discovery of a pulsar, which is a Newton star that emits EM radiation, you don't need to know much more about it, it's just that much. And this allows scientists to map out patterns in the sky. When they map out these patterns in the sky, it was known as the LGM, Little Green Man. Okay, this view, however, was rejected as it did not make sense and scientists say no it just does not make sense so the scientific bodies that they decided that okay we should respect his view what he's discovered so we'll just leave it as an interpretation we will not scrutinize it criticize it test it although it was criticized because they said okay it was wrong here here but then it was given this freedom to say that okay it is his theory okay we'll just leave it as an interpretation of his finding which was what happened at the end so hopefully this is clear so views on religion Marxism, feminism, we're going to be looking at this in this slide. Marxists, as we all learned when we looked at religion, that Marxist view that religion is serving the ruling class. We look at this, Lega, Lenyon, we look at this in my previous videos at the beginning. Go back if you do not remember. So whilst a feminist, view what? You must remember this because you've revised this. So pause and have a think. So feminists view that patriarchy, how it oppresses women and stuff like that, okay? There's a view that by using scientific knowledge, we can understand why males are dominant. So we can use science in order to think about why males are dominant as opposed to religion. However, Lyotard, the sociologist, argues that all of this is a meta-narrative. A meta-narrative simply means big stories. Leotard is a postmodernist, so obviously he criticizes this whole view. Postmodernists believe that the simple definition of science is how people think, and this helps us to form society's beliefs and practices. So this is just a small starter on what we're going to be looking at in my next video. Okay, so we've learned a lot from this video. So please, please revise, rest, test and repeat yourself all of the content that we have learned. Next video, we'll be continuing with ideology, utopia and the Marxism feminist perspective. So again, on Instagram, please follow me. Please, please, please like my videos. Please subscribe. There'll be a smiley on the side somewhere. And please just tell me or come in the comment section, obviously, what you like about my videos, what you don't like, what you think I should improve and what I should not improve group on press the bell icon again to never miss my video thank you so much for your time please 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 subscribe because the more subscribers that i have the better it will be for me to actually make more videos so thank you so much for your time and keep revising